what I would do with this one is understand, guys, and this kind of comes into my period as an aid. What I mean by period as an aid, when you remember a period of sine and cosine is basically 2 pi, right? And if you guys look at that on the unit circle, that's a distance of going around the unit circle once, correct? If you guys remember our definition of coterminal angles, coterminal angles are angles that have the same initial and terminal side. If you guys remember graphing coterminal angles, we did like these, all these loops around, right? But the loop didn't change the problem. I mean, it changed the measure of the angle, but we still started and ended at the same sides. So in this case, um, what you guys can kind of see is I can rewrite this. Anytime I have an angle greater than 2 pi or 360, I'm going to write it as what we call a period as an aid. So I'm going to write it as a sum of periods, as many as I can. Well, this one is actually two periods, right? It's two loops around. So if you were to graph this, you would see that I go around 360 once, and then I go around 360 twice, right? Well, every single time we're going around the circle, that's not changing anything, right? That's just giving us a coterminal angle. So I cancel out all of my periods, and I see that this is the same as cotangent of 0 degrees. It'll make a little bit more sense when I do this one, um, which is the same thing. But all I'm telling you is cotan cotangent of negative 720 degrees is coterminal with the cotangent of 0 degrees. They're the same. They have the same initial and terminal side. Right? If I start and ended right there, it's going to be the same as what 720 was. So cotangent, this coordinate point is 1, 0. Cotangent is x over y. So that is undefined, because right? you can't divide by 0. And if you guys remember the cotangent function, do you guys remember the cotangent function? 